Good morning, this is Pastor Jones. I'd like to take five minutes of your time, not even that, to share something with you that I hope that will uplift you and strengthen you at such a time as this. The COVID numbers are going up, the presidency is in a mess, and a lot of tension, a lot of discouragement, a lot of uh, pressures that we are feeling in our society right now. The Bible says in Joshua 1 and 18, above all, be strong. It's a shame that we are as weak as we are. For the Bible says, above all, be strong. It says in Ephesians 6 and 10, finally, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. We find in Deuteronomy 33 and 25, he has promised that as our days, so our strength be. We may not be as strong in ourselves, but we are strong in the Lord. He's our strength, and he strengthens us in our innermost being by his Holy Spirit. We can't always be physically strong. Sometimes when you're sick, sometimes as you grow older, you don't have the strength and the vitality that you enjoyed in younger days. But I'm here to tell you, even though that's true, God gives us a spiritual toughness, an emotional fortitude that reflects what? The joy of the Lord. What did Nehemiah say in the 8th chapter and the 10th verse of Nehemiah? The joy of the Lord is our strength. You know, right now, a lot of things have depleted us of our joy. And consequently, when the joy is gone, the strength is gone. So can I encourage you this morning to afresh and anew turn your eyes upon Jesus and allow him to refresh you and strengthen you in your innermost man. You know, one of the Bible's most convicting scriptures is found in Proverbs 24 and verse 10. If you falter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? It's even more convicting when we read the Peterson paraphrase where it says, if you fall to pieces in a crisis, there wasn't much to you in the first place. In other words, what are we made of? What kind of stuffing do we have? You see, our walk with God, our relationship with the Lord, our Christianity is only as good as we walk in Him and draw strength from Him. If there's not much in you, when the tough times come, it's definitely going to show up. In the Living Bible, it's even more straightforward. You are a poor specimen if you can't stand the pressure of adversity. Adversity is the very thing that God uses as a tool to strengthen us, to challenge us. Oh, it's not been something we prayed for nor asked for, but it comes our way, and it's God's hope that we'll be the stronger for it when it leaves, and that's what needs to happen. Sometimes the Bible's pretty blunt, but above all, we have the promises of God. We used to sing that song, Standing on the Promises of Christ our King. That's what we need to be doing right now. We have the presence of the Lord. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. We have the certainty of heaven. And we certainly have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And still, greater is he that's in us, hallelujah, than he that's in the world. We have the power of prayer. And we have the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. And this day today, let me encourage you by saying this. Above all, be strong. In this book of Psalms 46, 1 and 2, God is our refuge in our strength, our ever-present aid. And therefore, though the earth be removed, we shall not be afraid. Live by God's word today. Be encouraged in the Lord. Above all, be strong. Have a great rest of the week. I'll look for you Sunday. God bless.